Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this sick car edit in only 5 minutes. I saw this effect a few days ago on my Instagram feed from Jerry Media, so big shout out to him for the inspiration. If you want to follow him, I will leave his info along with my Instagram and website in the description. Alright, enough talking, let's get to it. Before we even start editing or adding effects, we must first have a song that we want to use. This will be our baseline for creating the speed ramps for each clip. I'll be using a royalty free song, free from any copyright, from Epidemic Sound. If you would like to follow along using the same music in this tutorial, I will leave a link in the description where you can get a free 30 day trial to Epidemic Sound including the song. Once you have picked out your music, go ahead and add it to the timeline. Feel free to adjust it to your liking. Once you're at this point, listen to the music and add a marker by pressing M if you're in Final Cut Pro every time there is a beat or kick depending on the music you have chosen. In this case, we can hear a kick roughly every 40 frames or so. We want to add a placeholder clip without anything in it in the timeline by pressing P on the keyboard and dragging the audio clip down. This will add a blank placeholder where you can add the clips above. You can start adding clips in the timeline that you want to speed ramp to the music. Ideally, you want a lot of clips that are at least 5 seconds long with minimal but smooth movement. This is super important because it allows us to speed up the clip without making the clip too short or looking jaggy. Also, each clip should be a different scene. We can start with the first clip and follow the same process for the rest. Move the first clip to the first marker in the timeline and press Command R to bring up the speed retiming bar. Move the playhead at the end of that clip and go back 30 or 40 frames while holding down the shift and left arrow button to move 10 frames to the left. You may need to do this a few times. Times. Then press Shift B to make a speed ramp cut. Drag the black line towards the beginning of the second marker in the timeline. The length of the clip should last from the first to the second marker. You're going to repeat this exact process for the rest of the clips. If we preview our clip, we should now have a super smooth speed ramp effect that matches the beat of the music. From this point, you can create masking effects, transitions, or anything you want as long as you don't move any of the clips or make changes to the music. One way to make this edit more awesome is by adding rotoscoping mask transitions. This gets more complicated, but I will simplify it as much as I can. Say you want to zoom into the headlight and reveal the next clip. You can do this by adding a freeze frame at the start of the clip that you want to transition into. Press Option F to make a freeze frame. This might cause the clips to shift, so simply move the freeze frame clip above the original video. Then drag the freeze frame clip at the end of the video before it. Adjust the length, then go to the beginning and add a draw mask effect onto the clip. Make a selection of the headlight and invert the mask so there is a hole in the video. With the playhead still at the start, add a keyframe from the transform tool and scale the video all the way up so it's no longer shown. You may need to reposition the clip if it's not centered. Under the transform settings in the inspector window, type 0 for both X and Y in position and 100% for scale all. You may notice that the clip is not as smooth, so we can add a zoom blur to the clip. Go to the blur section under the effects tab and add the zoom effect to the video. Position the playhead at the beginning of the clip and center the dot in the middle of the mask. Add a keyframe under center and amount and type 200. Move the playhead at the end of that clip but go one frame to the left and move the center point again so it's in the middle of the mask. Now we can type 0 under amount to bring it from 200 to 0 as it plays through. This transition is now way smoother. There are so many effects I wish I could add, but if you would like for me to go more in depth, drop a like and I will make a part two. Leave a like if you found this video helpful, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.